Hey everyone, it's Irene and I have a project I'd like to share with you today. I uh, was looking for something that I can make for my Halloween stick pins and I went to my local Ross and I found these cute little baby booties. They were purple and already all glittered up. They had a, a really huge black uh, flower here in front. And they were on sale. So I took it and I altered them into um, baby booty stick pin holder. And this is not an original idea. There's quite a few out there on the web, but this is just my version of the baby booty turned into a stick pin holder. And here's the other one. Very sweet, very fun to make. And let me talk a little bit about what I did. Um, these are really little. They're probably like for a two month old. And so they're very flimsy and very lightweight booties. And so what I did was I put in some clear rock marbles inside and glued them down to give it some weight and stability and then I made the cushion I added this lace all the way around to make it look like a little sock so that was a really sweet little lace that I had in my stash I added some purple bling here in the front and then I made a little floral arrangement on the side here I have a, a, an orange and a purple little flower and then there's a little bling that I got from Hobby Lobby the thing about when you buy these pieces right here, you got to watch out for the center. A lot of them come undone really easily, and a lot of them are missing this little rhinestone gem. So when you're picking them out of the bin, make sure that you're looking at it and that the pieces aren't missing. Uh, quite a few of them that I purchased, I had to return because the elements were missing and I just wasn't paying attention. But they are pretty. They're usually $0.99, cents, and when they're half off, they're $0.50, cents, so they're really a fun buy. And it comes with a little feather, which... Uh, just adds that little extra texture to the piece. And then I want to show you how I made my stick pins. Let me get a little piece of paper here. And the first one I made here was this ghost. Probably hard to see against this white. Oh, there it is. Um, but what that is, is this is a button. And then I have a bead a metal piece here that I put him in between. And then I glued him in between this uh, metal piece. And then I have a little orange bead here, and then I added this little ribbon. And I thought that the ribbon was really fun to make. A little extra different addition to the stick pin. And I'll show you how to make that in just a minute. And then I just wanted to show you this one right here. This is Frankenstein. He's also a button. Very cute. And I also have a witch. She's also a button. And this is on a crystal... Um, stick pin and I have some rondelles there holding her in and also the little orange ribbon very fun to make um, this one right here was a, a bag of buttons so that's a button right here the spider and I put it on an orange flat back um, type pearl it's oval in shape and it does um, allow me to put that button on there I put some little silver bead endings there. Just kept it simple and cute. And then I did this spider web here. That's also a little button. And then the gray you see there is a web. I cleaned up my mess by putting a little flower and a little rhinestone there. But this is a flower for my stash and I added that ribbon. And that ended up with a bead cap on the bottom. And there's a bead cap on top. Very fun. And then I put a little bit of gloss of accents in the flower. That's a lot of fun. And then I made some simple ones too. Some of them I just kept simple. And this one right here. Same thing with just a little bit of a spider. That's also a button. Very cute. And there's one here. So there's a lot of buttons out there that you can use to make them. Some of them I just kept simple and easy. No fuss. And that's a little bat. I want to talk to you about this little bat. This little bat was supposed to be um, a ring for a kid that you give out at trick-or-treating time. And it was a really tiny little bat. So I just clipped it off the ring and glossy accented him to the button. Really cute. A nice addition to the pincushion. And I just put that over there. And then on this one here, same thing. Really, really pretty. They're just full of stick pins. Let me see if I put the white background there to show you. This is the bottom. 
cute little shoe. Lace all around and the purple bling in the front. And then let me show you some of the stick pins. This one right here is a button. And I'll show you the back. See, there's the button. I didn't finish it off just so I can show you. And then I just glossy accented the uh, rondelles and the beads to hold in the word boo. That was really cute. And then I have this little ghost right here. Really fun. Great way to use up those buttons. And I did a, um, my, Muriel at Miss Cooper's Coop. Hi, Muriel. She just made a stick pin and using a, a brown flower. I had purple here. Great um, inspiration from that. Thank you so much, Muriel. Loved when you did that. I thought it was so pretty, and it did come out really pretty. Just a really nice touch. Thank you for that inspiration. And then here's just another bat. And then here's just a different kind of little spider on this end. I did not glossy accent this one. And there's the back of that one. And then I have this little ghost. Also a button. Very fun. So let me show you how I did um, the beading on I mean the, the ribbon work. So what you do is when you get your stick pin, you start and you're leaving a little tail. Just give it a little tail. And then on the, the length of the needle is what you want to do with the ribbon. You just poke it. And once you poke it that way, then you go backwards. And you go forwards. And backwards. And then forwards. And, back. and then you can do as many times as you want. Pretty easy to use up this ribbon. And then I just stop. Whenever I feel it's full, I rounded it off, make it nice and fluffy. And then I put a little bead cap. Obviously, I would snip off the bottom. And then there you go. Very fun to make. This ribbon is Grow Grain Ribbon. It's a really tiny one. Um, got this a while ago. It's 5.49 meters, which is one eighth of an inch, three millimeter wide. And then right now at Christmas time, Celebrate It has the holiday ribbon, and there's like three colors to a roll. I also use this one right here, and that's what you see in this one right here, is this ribbon right here. So they come in really tiny, and right now I think it's 40% off. This is usually $2.99. So it's a great deal. There's a lot of colors out there. So go out and check out your ribbons. Check out your buttons. Look at those booties in a different way. See what you can do. Maybe pass on and make some memorabilia pieces for your daughters and sons to have. as a, And then great Mother's Day gifts maybe. But just a great way to make a different type of pin cushion. Thanks everyone for watching. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.